Uh, good morning everybody uh, welcome to our lesson today uh, remember we have been dealing with time uh, that was the new topic we introduced in our last lesson uh, we are still in time uh, here uh, there's a question uh, yeah, you are told on Monday left uh, Nairobi at 9 at 9 45 hours this is 9 45 hours this is 9 45 a.m. in the morning we changed the 24 hour clock system we did that to drive to Kisumu 350 kilometer away to drive to Kisumu 350 kilometer away if the average speed of uh, the journey was 70 kilometer per hour at what time did he reach Kisumu so we list what we have uh, now uh, we are told left uh, that is now a uh, departure time we are given the departure time departure time is 0945 hours then also we are given kilometer the way that is now the distance 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 350 kilometer then uh, speed you are given the speed of the journey the speed speed is equal to 70 kilometer per hour uh, then uh, they are asking at what time did he reach Kisubu so they are asking the arrival time so we must get uh, we say they are asking the arrival time so arrival arrival time is what they are asking and we said arrival time arrival time is equals to departure time plus time taken plus time taken arrival time is equals to departure time plus time taken uh, departure time we have 0 0.95 hours but we don't have the time taken the vehicle took we must get the time taken how do we get the time taken i have the distance i have the speed i must get the time taken so how do we get time now so we say now time is equal to distance to get the time distance over speed that is how we get time taken the time is equal to distance the vehicle has covered over the speed of the vehicle distance of a time taken so the distance is always in kilometer or uh, meter uh, and the speed is in always kilometer per hour or meter per second the one which has kilometer per hour or meter per second is what is called speed the one which has only meters or kilometer that's what is called distance now so our distance here kilometer is 350 so here is 350 kilometer all for the speed the speed is the kilometer per hour one over 70 kilometer per hour kilometer kilometer uh we simplify now cancel cancel by seven one by seven uh five so here is remain remains with seven and five hours that is now the time taken this is now the time taken so uh the this, uh, the departure time we were already given the time taken we got it after dividing the distance and the speed is five hours now let us get now uh, the arrival time so arrival time is equal to the departure time plus the time taken so arrival time arrival time is equal to departure time plus time taken plus time taken so departure time is 0 9 hours plus the time taken five hours we add now so we say uh, 9 45 plus 5 hours plus 5 hours so here is 5 4 then uh, 9 plus so 9 plus 5 is 14 45 is 14 45 hours but we are told to change into pm this is 24 hour clock system when i want to change it into bm I said earlier you subtract it from total of so you subtract the time from uh total of from the time so subtract the follow from the time so we say now 1445 if I want to change to bm you say minus total of hours you get four you get two so it is 245 pm that is how we get uh, uh the arrival time so arrival time is 245 pm I'm repeating uh you are told Omondi left Nairobi at zero, left 
I said earlier, when we are left, the vehicle left, that is the starting time. The time uh, which the vehicle started its journey, the left is called departure time. The vehicle left started departure or depart, all the same. So the vehicle only left Nairobi, that's the departure time I've written here. Uh, drive took to Kisumu 350 kilometer away, kilometer or meter only. That is distance now. Distance is 350 kilometer. At an average speed of uh, the journey was 70 kilometer per hour. So the speed is 70 kilometer per hour. The kilometer per hour one or the meter per second one, that's always the speed. So at what time did he reach Kisumu? I said earlier is the time the vehicle has reached its destination. That is the time reach. That is the arrival time or end time. Arrival time, end time is the same. So how do we get arrival time? Arrival time is equal to departure time plus the time taken. Departure time I have is the time the vehicle left from the station. Plus the time taken I don't have, but I must get the time taken. How do we get time? Time is equal to, we say the formula, time taken is equal to distance or speed. Distance covered over the speed. The distance is 350 kilometer over the speed is 70 kilometer per hour. So uh, kilometer, kilometer, cancel, cancel by 7, 1, by 7, 5. So it is 5 hours. This is now the time taken. They are not asking the time. They are asking is the arrival. They are asking is arrival time. Arrival time is equal to departure time plus the time taken. Departure time is 0, 95 hours. This was AM. That's why we added 0 to make it 24 hour clock system. The last 5 hours. So 9.45 the last 5 hours is 14.45 hours. You are told change it into PM. When you are changing this one into PM, you say minus 12, you get 2.45 PM. That's how we solve. There's another question here. You are told a spot meeting began at 10.15. A spot meeting. began at 10.15 uh, in the morning, at 10.15 a.m. If the meeting took six and a half hours, if the meeting, if the meeting took six and a half hours, then the question is asking, at what time did it end? At what time did it end? Hours, at what time did it end? At what time? At what time did it end? At what time did it end? Now, you are told a sport meeting uh, began. Began, starting time. A sport meeting began. Began, started, yani. Uh, began at 10, 15 p.m. We list what we have. That is now uh, the starting time or the departure uh, time or the starting, the starting time is the same. Uh, it started at 10.15. It has started 10.15 in the morning. Uh -huh. If the meeting took, took, I said earlier, is the bus tense of, the bus tense of take is took now. So uh, if the meeting took, that is the time taken now. Time, time taken. Took, that is the bus tense of take uh, uh, is six and a half hours. Uh -huh. At what time did it end? Ending time. End time. End time, I said earlier, is the same as uh, is the end time, is the arrival time. The same way we are getting arrival time is the same way we get end time. The time as the meeting has ended now. How do we get end time now? To get the end time is the same. So end time is equal to starting time. That was the departure time when we were talking of vehicles. Plus the time taken. Plus the time taken. So the starting time was 10.15. Starting time was 10.15. Uh, the meeting began 10.15 a.m. in the morning. Took six hours, six and a half hours. Six and a half, half is 30. Because a half time is 60 minutes. One hour has got 60 minutes. So by two, one by two, 30. So a half is 30, I said earlier. So we add now. So that is uh, five. That is four. That is six. That is one. So our so this one is in 24 hour clock system now. We want to change it into PM now. This one is a Kumi journey. So what do we do now? I want to change to now P, uh, PM minus 12 hours now. You subtract five, four, then here 
is 4 so it is 4 45 p.m. 4.45 p.m. that is how we get that is the time the meeting has ended uh, you are told the meeting spot began meeting 10.15 began starting time just like the budget time if the meeting took the time taken six and a half hours at what time did it end? end time is the way we did the other one when we are talking of the vehicle we had departure time and time taken so starting time plus time taken the meeting began 10:15, there are six and a half, six hours and 30 minutes. You add, you get 16:45 hours. So this was in 24-hour clock system. You are told to change into PM. You will get 4:45 uh, uh, PM. Uh, here you are told a watch loses five seconds every hour. 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 Uh, it is set right on Sunday, total of 48 p.m. It is set right on Sunday a uh, total of 48 p.m. total of 48 p.m. Uh, what time will it show the following Sunday the question is asking now what time will it show what time will it show the following Sunday what time will it show the following what time will it show the following sunday what time will it show the following sunday total of 48 pm total of 48 pm now uh it's a good question it's very common in examinations also uh, a watch loses five seconds every hour every hour the watch was losing five seconds every one hour it loses now uh, five seconds every one hour it loses five seconds an hour so it was set it is set right on sunday total of 48 bm that was the time when it was set right so the question is asking what time will it show the following sunday 11 45 bm so now let us see now the watch was losing five seconds every hour every one hour the watch was losing five seconds every one hour the watch was losing five seconds now one hour it loses five seconds uh -huh. it was set right on sunday total of 48 bm what time will it show the following sunday total of 48 bm what we do we must get the number of hours that are there from sunday to sunday so how many days now from sunday to sunday we have seven days Sunday to Sunday, we have seven days. Monday to Monday, we have seven days. Friday to Friday, we have seven days. So uh, Sunday to Sunday, those are seven days now. And every day, a day, we say a day has got 24 hours now. So one day has got 24 hours. So 24 now times seven days now. Because Sunday to Sunday, those are seven days. And uh, we say that day has got 24 hours. How many hours are here now? A day has got 24 hours times seven days now. Uh, that is eight uh, carry two. Uh, 28 carry two. That is 14, 16. 20, sorry. Uh, 28, eight carry two. Uh, that is 14, 16, 168 hours. So seven days has got 168 hours. So now if one hour was losing, it was losing five seconds. What about now 168 hours? How many seconds we need to lose? I thought we were asking. Now, uh, cross multiply. We cross multiply. So we say now 168 hours multiplied by five seconds. Multiplied by five seconds over one hour alpha one hour 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 so we multiply now 168 uh, time is now uh, five we multiply 168 and now time is five so 168 time is five 40 carry four 30 34 carry three eight forty so here we get eight hundred and forty seconds eight hundred and forty seconds what you do now this is not the answer whenever you get seconds what you do you always change the seconds into minutes now 
we want it in two minutes now. Let us change this one. This one has no uh, any value. So eight forty seconds now. Let us change it to minutes. Whenever you get seconds, you convert it to minutes now. Divide divide now uh, sixty because one hour has got sixty minutes. Cancel cancel by six one by six uh, one four. 14 minutes so which is equal to now uh, 14 minutes so it uh, that was 14 minutes so seven days it has uh, it was losing uh, for it to lose the 14 minutes now so now what a time will it show now so if it has lost the 14 minutes what time will it show now when it is now 12 48 bm what will it show now so it will show nini kama ilikuwa ina ilikuwa hivi na ilikuwa ina lose 14 minutes what time will it show now so what we do now we subtract now it was losing now it will show now we say 12:48 pm we take the last one minus 14 minutes uh, that is 4 this is 3 this is 2 uh, this is 1 so pm so in instead of 12:48 pm it showed 12:34 so that was now 12:34 uh, pm so instead of 12:48 pm it was losing, it showed 12 of 34 p.m. So that is how we solve. I'm repeating you are told a watch loses five seconds every hour. It is set right on Sunday, 12 of 48 p.m. What time will it show the following Sunday, 12 of 48 p.m.? So the first thing you check is the two times you are given. This one is in p.m. and the other one is also in p.m. The time is same. And the days are the same. So 12 of p.m., 12 of p.m., Sunday to Sunday. So one hour watch was losing five seconds every hour. Every one hour, it was losing five seconds now. Uh, what about now? What would we get now? Sunday to Sunday, we count now the number of days that are there from Sunday to Sunday. Those are seven days. So seven days now, time is now 24. A day has got 24 hours. 24 hours times seven days now, 168. That was all the total number from Sunday to Sunday is 168. So Monday to Monday, the total number of hours is 168. So one hour is equals to five seconds. What about total hours for the seven days, 168 hours? Cross multiply. 168 hours times five seconds all for one hour. Cancel, you cancel. So 168 times five seconds. Uh, you will get 840 seconds. Whenever you get the seconds, you always change to into minutes now. So you cancel, you cancel by 61 by 614. So you will get uh, now 14. So this was 60 seconds. So this one they go together. So 14 minutes. So the total minutes that the watch was losing was 14 minutes. So what a time will it show now? When it is 12 or 8 p.m., you subtract now. When it is gaining, it's the same, but you'll add plus 14. But the procedure is the same. It was gaining, the procedure is the same, but here where we subtracted, you only add plus 14. Why are we subtracting? Because it was losing. So that is how we solve. A water tank has 6,000 liters. Another question. A water tank has 6,000 liters of water. A water tank has 6,000 liters of water. An outlet pipe is connected. An outlet pipe is connected. An outlet pipe is connected uh, to the tank, which is to the tank, which took, which took, uh, which lets out a half liter of water, which lets out a half liters of water, a half liters of water. Per second, I have, it lets out a half liters of water per second. Uh, then you are told in Joroge, in Joroge use, uses the pipe to irrigate. In Joroge uses the pipe to irrigate. In Joroge uses the pipe to irrigate. 
Njoroga uses the bite uh, to irrigate a piece of land. A piece of land, if he began, if he began, if he began irrigating, if he began irrigating at 11.55, at 11.55 a.m., if he began irrigating at 11.55, will the water get finished? Will the water, at what time will the water get, with, get finished? Get finished. Yes, it's a good question. You are told a water tank has 6,000 liters of water. It's a water tank. Eh? Let's say this is the water tank. This is the water tank. Let's say this is the water tank. It has got 6,000 uh, liters of water. Uh -huh. Then you are told an outlet pipe is connected to the tank which lets uh, so an outlet pipe there is a pipe here now there is this pipe now an outlet pipe this is a pipe now outlet pipe the outlet pipe now is connected uh, to which lets a half liter of water per second so it is letting water out uh, so the pipe is connected to to let the water out so a half liter per second one second a half liter goes out one second another half liter goes out uh -huh. in Joroga uses the pipe this pipe to irrigate uh, a piece of land so he uses the pipe to irrigate a piece of land there's a land here uh -huh. then at the, and he began at 11:55. at what time will the water get finished so at what time will the water this water get finished and he, at what time will this tank become empty that's what they are asking if a half liter was going out per second so what do we do now so a half liter of water per second. So one second, one second, half liter goes out. Uh -huh. So if half liter was going out after every one second, what about now total liters of water? So we say now, what about 6,000 liters of water? How many seconds will they take? That's what they want. So now we say, So now we say uh, one second now, so it was one second is equal to one second is equal to half liters. What about 6,000 liters? Cross multiply. So one second times 6,000 liters over now a half. Alpha means divide. You divide. Alpha means we divide. So we say now here this half liter liter liters they go together so we say now 6000 times one second you will get 6000 seconds over a half this is where the problem now alpha means you divide alpha means divide so we say now this is second so we say 6000 times no divide divide alpha means divide a half alpha means we divide so now we say now 6,000 uh -huh, divide we change to time is always divide we change to time is uh -huh. then after changing now the division into multiplication what will happen now the other number will become reciprocal upside down so reciprocal of this one is 2 alpha 1 so 6,000 times 2 you will get 12,000 you will get 12,000 uh, seconds you'll get all of thousand uh, seconds all of thousand so the the six thousand liter amount of water will take all of thousand seconds so the tank will take all of thousand uh, seconds to get finished what do we do now we change this one uh, into uh, minutes so it will become now all of thousand divide divide 60 let us change to minutes i said earlier so cancel cancel we're changing to minute by 6 1 by 6 2 200 minutes so we have 200 minutes we have 200 minutes now 200 minutes we can change it into hours now 200 minutes how many hours are there so one hour 
is equal to 60 minutes. So one hour is 60 minutes now. So one hour is equal to 60 minutes. So how many hours are here? If one hour is equal to 60 minutes, what about 200 minutes? 200 minutes. How many hours are here? So what we do, we divide it by 60 now. So 200 uh, divided by 60. We change it to hours. Cancel, cancel. By 2, 2. By 2, 3. By 2, 10. Which is equal to 10 over 3. We further simplify. How many trees are in? Uh, 10. How many trees are in 10? 3 because of 9. Remember 1. A third. So it will become 3 and a third hours. So 3 and a third hours now. Three and a third hours. So we have three and a third hours. Let us change this one into minutes now. So we said now three and a third times three times now sixty. Whenever you have a fraction, you change it times sixty. I said earlier a half is thirty. A third times sixty now by three one by three twenty. So a third is twenty minutes. So I said earlier a half thirty minutes. Uh, a quarter fifteen minutes. A third, 20 minutes. Two third, 40 minutes. You should know those times 60. So here will become now 3, 20. So 3 hours and 20 minutes. So it will become 3 hours and 20 minutes now. That is the time it took now. So the question is now asking at what time will it get finished now? That's the end of time. And this person started irrigating. He has started irrigating the farm at 11.55. They said at 11.55 a.m. So he started 11.55 a.m. This was starting time. He started. And the time the water took to get finished out of the tank was 3 hours and 20 minutes. At what time will it end? We add now. End of time is the starting time plus the time taken now. We add plus 3 hours and 20 minutes. We add. So it will become 5. Here yeah, will become 5 plus 2. 7. 7. We don't write 7. This is where the problem. So I said the other day. So you add. So if it, if it reaches 6, you say minus 6. Then carry 1 to the other side. So 5 plus 2 is 7. So it has reached 6. 7 minus now 6 is 1. Carry 1, yeah. So here will become what, uh, 2 plus, uh, this is 4 plus 1, 5. Here is 1. So it is now 15, 15. 15, 15, now let us change to BM now. 15, 15 minus 12 of hours. So it will become 5, 1. That is uh, 3. 3.15 BM. That is 3.15 BM. So, we are summarizing. Uh, a water tank has 6,000 liters of water. This is the water tank. It has got 6,000 liters of water. An outlet pipe is connected to the tank, which lets out a half liter of water per second. <coughs> then they said, in Joroge, uses the pipe to irrigate a piece of land. If he began irrigating at 11.55 a.m., at what time will the water get finished now? I've drawn a, a sketch there. So the tank contains 6,000 liters of water. And there's an outlet pipe which was connected to let a half liter of water out. So this is the pipe now. So a half liter uh, per second. So one second, a half liters. So a half liters per second. One second. It, it, it lets out a half liters of water. What about total amount of water? 6,000 liters cross multiply. So here I said now, I came here, I said one second, half liters go out. So what about 6,000 liters cross multiply? So one second times 6,000 liters divided by a half liters, liter, liter. So one second times 6,000, you will get 6,000 seconds, alpha half. Alpha means divide, you divide. So 6,000 divided by a half. So 6,000 divided by you change to time is, then the number will become reciprocal. So time is 2 alpha 1. So 6,000 seconds time is 2, you will get 12,000 seconds. 12,000 seconds, the first thing you do, you change it into minutes. Divided by 60, you will get uh, cancel, cancel by 6, 1 by 6, 200, you will get 200 minutes. 200 minutes, you change it into hours. Now, one hour has got 60 minutes. So change it now into hours. You say divide it by 60. Cancel, cancel. By 6, so 3, by 6, uh, by, by 2, 3, by 2, 10. So you will get 10 alpha, 
10 alpha 3. 10 alpha 3, your father simplify, is equal to 3 whole number and a third hours. So 3 and a third hours, I said the fraction, you change it into minutes now. You say it, you multiply it by 60, by 3, 1, by 3, 20. I say the half is 30 minutes, a quarter, 15, a third, 20, two third, 40 minutes. You should know that. So you will get now 3 and a third, means 3 hours and 20 minutes. So you are told in Joroga, I started irrigating the farm at 11.55 a.m. That was the starting time. And the time uh, he took was uh, 3 hours and 20 minutes. So we're going to get the time, uh, the water get finished. That's the end of time. How do we get the end of time? We add the starting time, because the time taken now. Starting time was 11.55 a.m., because 3 hours and 20 minutes the time he took. So you add 5, it's 5 because 2 7. No, we don't write 7. We say minus 6 carry 1. So here is 1 carry 1. So here is 3 plus 1, 4 plus 1, 5. This will become 5, 15, 15. But they say now you change it to p.m. 15.15 now minus 12 hours, you'll get 3.15 p.m. So we shall stop it there. We shall continue there from there.